Thank you, members, and welcome to the Council meeting this evening. May I extend a warm welcome to members of the public in attendance and those watching our webcast. I would like to remind all members to speak clearly into the microphones for the benefit of those that are watching at home. Thank you. Please be seated. We start, start this evening with uh, me taking my mask off. Um, declarations of interest. Uh, members are asked to consider whether you have any dis disclosable pecuniary and or any other relevant interest in connection with the matters to be determined at the meeting, and if so, to declare and state the nature of such interest. Can members please indicate now if they have interest they wish to declare? I take that as no, so thank you. Um, the Civic Mayor's announcements um, is item two. And if I just open my phone for a second, please, if you don't mind. There's something I'll take there. Right. Um, right. Civic Mayor's, thank you very much indeed. First of all, it's an absolute honour to be sitting here this evening, which I said at the last meeting. Um, but um, I've had one, I've had my first engagement, it was with a, a young lady of 100 um, and uh, up in Hoylake, and it was a very, very enjoyable afternoon. But, so thank you very much indeed, that's the start of it. Um, also, I know that um, we have had, um, where are we now? We've, we've had a, a special gift given to the leaders and also to uh, Jeff, uh, as well as myself. Um, and I'll just thank this for this special gift of fair trade olive oil from Palestine uh, farmers. On behalf of Whittle Council, I'd like to send our best wishes to all the friends in the Holy Land and their uh, work for a long lasting, sustainable, just peace for everyone. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, I've had uh, notification of um, three apologies for this evening. Andy Corkill, Kate Cannon, and very lately this afternoon, Moira McLaughlin. Are there any further apologies? We're all there? Right, lovely. Members, I refer you to the council standing orders, and in particular, SO21, one, which requires a member to stand and address the meeting uh, through the mayor. They speak at a full council meeting. Given that we are not meeting in the council chamber this evening, I am happy for individual members, when speaking, to decide if they wish to stand or remain seated when speaking. Item three is the minutes. So turning to item three, we have asked to approve the minutes of the council meeting held on the 22nd of March, 2021. I will move approval of these minutes uh, as a correct record. Happy. Would anyone wish to second? Happy to second that, Mr. Burke. Thank you, Jeff, thank you. Uh, I will take this vote by assent if that is agreed. I'll pause for Thank you very much indeed. <coughs> So that is agreed. Item four, election results, 6th of May, 2021. Members, we are asked to note the results of the local government's election held on the 6th of May, 2021. I propose we note the results. Would anyone wish to second? I'll second that, Mr. Mapp. Thank you very much indeed. Can we agree that by assent? Thank you so much indeed. Item five, matters requiring approval or consideration by the council. A, appointments of committees. 
Members, we are asked to agree the following. One, the formation of those committees set out in Part 3B of the Constitution and A. Note that Council determined on the 28th of September 2020 and the 19th of October 2020, respectively, that the following meetings are exempt from political balance requirements. One, Constitution and Standards Committee, Council Minutes 8, 2021, refers. Two, Senior Officer Appointments and Staffing Subcommittee and Associated Subcommittees of the Policy and Resources Committee, Council Minutes 8, 2021, refers. And three, Local Plan Subcommittee of the Policy and Resources Committee, Council Minute 21, 2020 and 2021, refers, and B, allocates seats on the committees as set out in Appendix 1. Annual Council Part 2, Mayor's script, that's me. <laughs> Two, authorises, uh, authorises the monitoring officer uh, as proper officer to carry out the wishes of the leaders of political groups in allocating members to membership and substitute membership of the committees or other authorities and to appoint those members with effect from the date at which the proper officer is advised of the names of such members. Three, delegates, the appointment of subcommittee panels and statutory advisory committees to the appropriate parent committee of council. Four, delegates authority to the director of law and governance to appoint members to the regulatory panel of the regulatory and general purposes committee and appoint members to the licensing panel of the licensing committee in consultation with the chair and spokespersons of those committees to enable meetings of either or both of those panels, if required, prior to their appointment at the first meetings of each of those committees. I will move approval of those recommendations. Would any member wish to second? Thank you, Councillor Williamson. Are there any amendments? If there are no amendments, I'll move to debate. Is there any debate? No. And then we move down to, um, where are we now? Let me just see. Are there any speakers? You have up to three minutes to address the council. No one wishing to speak? Right. Uh, I will. I won't exercise my right of reply. There being no further comments, we will move to the vote. Take that again. Are members happy to agree this by assent? Thank you, Thank you very much indeed. And that's agreed. Item C, appointments of chairs and vice chairs of committees. To appoint one, the Leader of the Council, Chair of Policy and Resources Committee. Now, members, we are asked to appoint a Leader of the Council who will also be Chair of the Policy and Resources Committee. Does anyone wish to make a nomination? Yvonne. Yvonne? Thank you very much indeed. Do I have a seconder? Paul. Thank you, Paul. Are there any further nominations? There being no further nominations, I therefore declare that Councillor Jeanette Williamson is appointed as <coughs> Leader and Chair of Policy and Resources Committee. I would like to invite Council Williamson to make her acceptance speech. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And members will be pleased to know this is quite a short speech, at least for me, anyway. 
Well, thank you. Applause before I've even started. Mr. Mayor Martin Luther King said, life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? And all of us here tonight have dedicated our lives to helping others. This has been a year like no other. Since I became leader in September last year, we've had tier three, tier two, several lockdowns, challenging budget, a new committee structure, of course, the heartbreak of COVID and deaths on Wirral. But Mr. Mayor, we've also seen great acts of her hero heroism from our NHS, from our volunteers, from our teachers and public sector workers, from those who kept the country going when it needed them most. They say in times of crisis, look for the helpers. And we have, we have seen the helpers here on Wirral, everywhere we look. From the council staff who switched their roles to put together thousands of food hampers for our vulnerable shielding residents, to the teams who set up our pioneering testing centres, and the many across Wirral who signed up as COVID vaccinators, giving up their own time to help. Everywhere there's been helpers, and the people of Wirral should hold their heads up high. We're all here for the same reason, Mr Mayor, to serve our communities who've put their faith in us. Our residents have voted for us to support them, to look after them, their environment, to improve their lives. Our political ideologies will inform how we think that can be best done, and we will differ in the conclusions that we reach. Being in a new committee system does not, or should not, neutralise our individual and party politics, or stifle debate. We are, after all, politicians. But it does mean we have to work alongside each other for the good of our communities. Political debate must be comradely and constructive. We must not resort to negative personal attacks. It's incumbent on us all to win the argument, and when we don't, decisions arrived at democratically should be respected. We're all councils on the cusp of great things. Regeneration at scale and pace not seen for decades, community wealth building, the community bank, progressive environmental policies, a chance to transform our leisure offer, and the continued protection of vulnerable children and adults, to name but a few. But we have big challenges ahead, Mr. Mayor, with our budget and the ever-increasing demand for social services. We have huge and unacceptable social, health, economic and environmental inequalities on Wirral, the reduction of which is the driving force of our Wirral plan, which sets out the corporate vision for the Council. Mr. Mayor, it's never acceptable to have huge inequalities in people's income and life expectancies. And as a Council, we must do everything we can to address this. Mr. Mayor, Wirral Council is not a faceless bureaucracy. It's made up of fantastic officers and hard-working councillors, driven by a desire to care for the community they, they serve. Every decision we take should benefit our communities, Mr. Mayor. We talk about what we do for others, and I pledge this, Mr. Mayor, I will do my best to represent Wirral as leader and to serve the wider community with every decision and action. Thank you. Thank you, Jeanette. Um, Deputy Leader of the Council, Vice Chair of Policy and Resources Committee, we are asked to appoint a Deputy Leader of the Council who will also be Vice Chair of the Policy and Resources Committee. Does anyone wish to make a nomination? I'd like to nominate Councillor Yvonne Nolan. Thank you. Do I have a seconder? Seconded, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Paul. Are there any further nominations? There being no further nominations, I therefore declare that Councillor Yvonne Nolan is appointed as Deputy Leader and Vice Chair of the Policy and Resources Committee. Congratulations. Congratulations. Just to echo um, the views expressed by Councillor Williamson and to say that I'm very proud to have been elected to this position. Um, and I would like to thank my own group for trusting me with this nomination. And I'd also like to thank the opposition groups for not going and hissing, or at least not going and hissing loud enough for me to hear them. Um, <laughs> I am grateful to the Council for giving me the opportunity to serve in this role 
and I assure you that I will devote my whole time and effort to the work of being Deputy Leader and supporting Councillor Williamson. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Wilson. Well done. Um, item three is the chairs and vice chairs for all other council committees other than those which the council has de decided should be appointed by the committee itself. Members, we are asked to appoint chairs and vice chairs for all other council committees others other than those which the council has decided should be appointed by the committee itself. A list was circulated to members um, in the supplementary agenda pack. I now <coughs> call on Councillor Williamson to move the recommendations circulated. And I call on Councillor Anderson to second. Thank you. Proposal of the motion. Councillor Williamson, you now have five minutes to speak to your motion. Well done. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, if there are no amendments and we haven't got any moves to the debate, are the are there any speakers you have up to three minutes to address the council? None. Councillor Anderson, you now have up to three minutes to speak to the motion. Well done again. Well done. <laughs> Councillor Williamson, I don't, it's pointless, but I'll say it. Councillor Williamson, you now have the right to reply and may address the council for up to three minutes. There being no further comments, we will move to the vote. No further comments, thank you. If there was no... Right, so we agree, and again, uh, do we or just agree that by assent? Thank you. thank you so much indeed. C, appointments and nominations to other bodies and organisations. Members, we are asked to appoint or nominate, as the case may be, members. Officers or others as appropriate to represent the Council on various outside organisations. A list has been circulated to members of unopposed nominations to outside bodies. I now call upon Council Williamson to move the recommendations. I call on sorry, sorry, sir. Yeah. And I call upon Council Anderson to second. Councillor Williamson, you have five minutes to speak to your motion. Thank you very much. Secondly, Councillor Anderson, you now have up to three minutes to speak to the motion. Thank you. Councillor Williamson, you now have the right to reply and may address the council for up to three minutes. Don't wish to. Are members happy to agree to the proposals by assent? If not, please indicate now, and we will go to a vote. Agreed. Thank you so much indeed. Uh, and you know what? That concludes this evening's meeting. It took me two hours to get ready. <laughs> anyway, listen, it's been lovely uh, to come along this evening. It's been a very successful meeting again, and long may it continue. Thank you very much indeed.